He owes nearly half a billion dollars to the state of New York for making false declarations about his assets. Now, if former President Donald Trump does not pay up by Monday, officials could start taking his holdings. If he does not have funds uh, to pay off the judgment, uh, then we will seek uh, you know, judgment enforcement mechanisms in court and we will ask the judge to seize his assets. Properties at risk include the famous Trump Tower, valued at $100 million, the Trump Building on Wall Street at $205 million, or his golf course at Westchester, worth $30 million. For the time being, his residence at Mar-a-Lago will not be affected, but the prosecutor could also choose to freeze his accounts and seize other assets such as his helicopters. Donald Trump has implied that this is all part of a scheme to prevent him from running for president. Billions of dollars in value, billions of dollars in properties, but they'd like to take the cash away so I can't use it on the campaign. And this is just a corrupt group of people. It's election interference. For the moment, the former president has not been able to find the money, despite his requests to some 30 companies. His stakes in his social media company called Truth could earn him around $3 billion, but he's not allowed to sell his shares for at least six months, and experts say he has few options left. He's going to probably have to file for personal bankruptcy because that's the only way that I can see uh, that he can sort of stay this judgment, buy himself more time. A final appeal is still possible this week. Trump has applied to the judges to reduce or postpone the half-billion-dollar penalty that he owes the courts.